lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim.
Hallelujah. 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 You are indeed a winner. I pray that you recognize that fact in yourself, that you are indeed a winner. To God be the glory for who he is, amen, and who he is in our lives. And, of course, all he has placed inside of us so that we can recognize that we are indeed winners. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us. I'm Loretta Petit, and this is the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. There is so much that we have opportunity to all because of our Lord and Savior. He has uh, given us vision. He has given us dreams. He has placed these things inside of us, passion, desire, and we're just so grateful. Let us have a word of prayer. Father, we come to thank you now. We bless you and magnify your holy and righteous name. God, give the glory and bless us, O oh God, in the things that we attempt to do to make to this land a better land, O oh God, to raise up persons' perspectives and to illuminate their hope, O oh God, that there is promise that shall be fulfilled, given to each and every one of us as believers. We thank you now. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want to give a shout-out to my awesome producer, Ms. Kenny Kim, awesome woman of God in her own right, the founder, the founder of the Elation Magazine. And you can find it at elationmagazine.com. And, of course, the producer of many podcasts. Oh, my God. She is a busy lady. God is using her in an awesome way. Hello to you, Mr. Jerry Royce. Also, a powerful guy on the scene doing some marvelous things. Well, on today, this is October, of course. We're still in the month of October where we recognize breast cancer awareness and give a shout-out and a thanks to God for the survivors, of which my producer is one. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. And, of course, to all of those who may still be in the struggle, we're believing God for you. And for those who may have passed on, we thank God for them because I know that they touched a lot of lives on their journey. So on today, um, we have a couple of guests sharing with us, powerful women in their own right. But not before I say happy birthday to all of you celebrating today and this month, and happy anniversary as well. We also know that this month is Domestic Violence uh, Awareness Month, and um, all the women, all the women that have been a victim to domestic violence know that there is a lesson in all of that and that we are praying for you, and you've got to know your worth. Don't stay under the hand of the oppressor. Uh, you have to know your words. So without any further ado, let me introduce my guest on today. I have with me um, business women, authors. Oh, God, awesome. Miss um, Andrea, uh, Andrea, I'm not really sure how to pronounce her name, Jackson, and Coach Lisa. Lisa, she's with us today, too. So welcome, ladies. Welcome to Women Winning. How are you? Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting us. We are just honored to be here with you today. Awesome. So who's speaking? Who's that? That's That's Andrea. 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 Okay, great. Uh, I'm not sure if Lisa made it to the call. Is Lisa there? Hey, Miss Lisa. Hey there. (laughs) How are you? So I'm Andrea. Okay, you guys can't be shy. Don't be shy, ladies. So, Andrea, so tell us where you yes. are um, in this moment. I, I'm in New Orleans, everybody. I'm in New Orleans. Where are you, Andrea? Yes, ma'am. I am in Slidell, Louisiana. Awesome. And where are you, Coach Lisa? Yes, ma'am. I am in Maryland. I am okay, on the awesome. East Coast. <laughs> on the East Coast. Okay. So we're here together today, and um, I do want to talk about uh, your journey because let me tell you, in all of our journeys, there um, are lessons not just for us but for others. And many of the miseries we go through, we go through those as the Lord transforms us and transforms that negative situation into a positive. He transforms us from having gone through that misery into being pushers inside of a ministry to help people to understand how to overcome. So I always like to know a little 
little bit about a person's journey. Uh, as you know, we're only going to be here until 6 o'clock today, our uh, central time. So we are going to try and get in as much as we can. So let me start with you, Andrea. Um, I know that you are a business owner and that you also have a show that you do. I want to know at what point in your life did you decide that you wanted something more than what was handed to you? What made you decide that you wanted something more than just to go to school and get that good job, but you wanted to be able to um, give something back to the community and however you do it, uh, your business uh, entrepreneurship, what caused you to get there to go into that direction? Yes, ma'am. But uh, first of all, thank you so much for that question. And I just thank God for you, Miss Loretta, because I always watch, listen to you on the radio, and you always inspired me. You was always filled with joy and um, and just, you know, encouraging your people, encouraging God's people. So I thank God for you. Because in uh, my past years, you really helped me to just have, uh, you know, just joyful days at work. And because I always listen to you going, the work so you are such a blessing so I thank you for that but I think it's because I come out of a awesome awesome ministry Christian faith ministries where Dr. Greg and Deidre Thomas are my pastors and they always mm-hmm. taught us who we are in Jesus Christ and they always taught us that we can be whatever we want to be we can fulfill whatever purpose God has placed inside of us so that stayed with me for over 20 something years and although it took about 50 15 or 20 years to really go forth and fulfill my purpose, mm-hmm. praise God, I am doing mm-hmm. it by his grace. So I wanted more, and I started seeking God, uh, Miss Loretta, right during the COVID, before the COVID happened. I said, God, why did you save me? I feel like there's more you want me to do. And there's more you have placed in me. Help me to be all you called me to be. So right before the COVID, God gave me, uh, he just kept pressing in, in me to come on Facebook Live. And I started with just five minutes live of encouragement. And, and I went to my pastor. I said, Pastor, you know, it's in my heart. And he gave me his blessing, so I went for it. And after I started and just encouraging people in the Lord with scriptures and with the word of God, next I wanted more. Or he gave me more. He and he gave me a vision to do living with power and purpose. And when he gave me that vision, it's a vision to want to see other people fulfill their purpose, to see other people live out to the live their lives to the fullest in Jesus' name. So then I asked my wonderful friend, Coach Lisa, and uh, um, my wonderful mother. Uh, Patricia Hawthorne to come and join me and they already had the same vision they they was already doing things also to help people go forth and fulfill their purpose so we came together as an awesome team and we're going forth and God has so much in store for us to do and these amazing ladies yes they didn't even think about it they just said yes and so we're going on and doing going forth with the Lord, doing summits, conferences, workshops, whatever God placed in our hearts to do, we're doing it for the people of God because we desire to see everyone fulfill their vision and purpose in Jesus' name. Well, that makes me so excited to hear all of those wonderful and positive and powerful uh, remarks from you. Uh, It shows some growth Mm -hmm. and some process going on um, as you continue to... um, uh, aspire as you continue to aspire higher. God continues to feed feed you into that direction, and that's awesome. So I want to now talk it to Coach Lisa. Tell me a little bit about your journey and how you came to be Coach Lisa today. Yes, ma'am. Um, I too want to thank you for letting me be a part of of your podcast. I heard so much. Um, wonderful things about you from Andrea. Um, oh, okay. I, beca- I became a coach. Well, before that, I was having a really, really tough time in my marriage. And mm-hmm. I journal a lot. I always write a lot. 
So during mm-hmm. my separations and I, my journaling, I journal my thoughts and what my feelings was, and we needed help. You know, everybody needs help in their marriage. So we needed help, and I wanted to kind of take myself out the equation and started helping other people, started sharing what I've been helped in, and that's how that all started. So when I started jotting down my feelings, bringing God into my life and really studying the Bible, then um, uh, I became really coaching to, well, really just sharing God's word. But people started coming to me. So as I was on my way to becoming an author, I met up with this coach, and she told me about coaching classes. And I was like, well, okay, I'll take it just in preparation for what might come. I didn't have no um, clue that I was going to become a coach, that it was going to lead into anything until after my books came out. And then after that process, that's when Miss Andrea asked me to be a part of her group, and it it just went on from there. And I was so happy she asked me, you know, we're we're related. My son is married to her daughter, so it it got Mm -hmm. us closer as family. And then, you know, she... We was just bouncing ideas off of each other, and it made the friendship really, really stronger. Like spirit, yes. and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, even though all of us may love God, uh, we may not all be walking in the same pathway, same direction. We're all yes, going yes. to the same destination, but we take different yes. routes and different roads. But it's an awesome, awesome, awesome thing when you find someone that's on that same path that you're on, and uh, like you said, it makes that friendship a, a better, a better thing. Yes. It makes it a better relationship, and uh, and you know, it's like a it's like a cord. You know, you you have a cord and it has so much strength, and then you could probably pull it apart. But when you got two of them twisted together, then you know you really have much more strength. And not to mention if you have three, the Bible talks about that three, it's hard to break that kind of a bond. So, you know, God right. is good and he is faithful and he definitely sends people in our path that will help to further our journey. So let's just take a pause right here. I just want to say to anybody that's tuned in, if you tuned in at this point, you're listening to the Loretta Petit Show, Women Winning at Life for Ministry to Marketplace. I've got an ordained elder with me, Ms. Andrea Jackson. And also, I've got Coach Lisa with me on today, uh, and they both had, um, you know, different backgrounds uh, from where they came from and how God has changed their direction, their perspective, their perspective, and, of course, what he has placed in their hands to do. So, Lisa, Coach Lisa, you are a writer of... Uh, mystery novels. Oh my God! I think that's awesome. Yes, I love mystery. <laughs> yes, I love mystery. And so, how did you learn how to do that? Well, like I said, I've always journaled. So I was doing my separation. I just journaled my feelings, what was happening to me at the time, how I was feeling. At the same time, watching thriller movies. So by Mm -hmm. by the time I looked at my journal, I was like, oh, my goodness, this can be a book. Um, Mm -hmm. So I did meet someone because I did start going to to book writing classes, you know. And all Mm -hmm. of this was God was just preparing me to do what I'm doing now. So Mm -hmm. in the class, I met a ghostwriter. And she said, I can help you with mm-hmm. your book. And that's how that mm-hmm. came. So when I, awesome. you know, awesome. she got, I'm sorry. No, ma'am, you go ahead. I was just found oh. She She got the first book out for me halfway, but, you know, with any kind of business, you know, you have to do your research. And yes. since I was so exciting about being a uh, author, I didn't do my research in our b- 
business relationship had to come to an end because it was miscommunication. But I did find another ghostwriter, and she got the book out for me. Then came a follow-up. It's a trilogy. So the first two okay. books are out, Secret Compulsions and Secrets Exposed. And the third one is No More Secrets that will be out the middle of next year. Uh, absolutely awesome, awesome. Now let me switch over to Andrea. Uh, Andrea, you yes, have me. several businesses that you are operating. Um, how did that come uh, into being? Did you start them all at the same time, or, or how did you get three businesses up and running? Yes, ma'am, the grace of God. I always have, had a business mind. My, I was always a business-minded person. So um, one day I was on the prayer line, and my pastor wife said we were all on the prayer line together. She said, I said, Andrea, you desire to go back to school? And I just was stunned because I never told anyone that. So I know that was God. And I said, yes. Yeah. So that was, to me, God telling me, go to school. Don't worry about the finances. So that's what I did. I ended up going to college for four years, got my degree. and. Um, I was trying to wait till I get a building, a certain building, and God told me I was driving one day. He told me, start now. So I started with what I had, didn't really see the finances to do it, didn't really um, understand how to do it, but I know God's voice. So I stepped out of state, and I went and got my business license. I went and got my, everything legalized for my uh, little genius daycare. And when I did that, I didn't have any kids, <laughs> but God told me to start okay. now. And my job, yeah, well, my job while I was working, it was starting to get irritating for me. And I said, that's not like me because I love working with people. So it was my time to go. That's why I was getting irritated. So I put in my two weeks notice. And just as I was doing that, I, somebody called me. They had a child. They were, then it started for another child in referrals. And then I had my children. And God provided and with the Genius Cleaning Services, about a year later after I started Little Genius Daycare, which has been successful for four years, God is awesome, and I give him praise for that. Then a year later, he told me, he just dropped in my spirit, Genius Cleaning Services. And I say, Genius? And I knew that was him because it also I already, he already gave me Little Genius Daycare. And I said, and I never desired to do a cleaning business, but I know God's voice again. And when I heard his voice, I ran with that vision. I went, and uh, while I was still running Little Genius Daycare, I went, got it legalized, and did whatever I needed to do. And I started Genius Cleaning Services, and that's been in business for about two years and successful. Then I always wanted a transportation service with my daycare. I didn't have transportation for a whole year. I was renting cars because something happened to my Cadillac and I sold it and somebody, one of the guys at the car dealer say, well, here, we can get a new car. So I said, okay. I came in and I, he blessed me with a 2019 Dodge Caravan debt free in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. So um, that was my Amen. plan to do my transportation. Amen. So I went and got my little sticky on there and everything I needed to do for the transportation. And let me tell you, when you hear God's voice and you move, when he said move, he gonna, he's going to provide everything else you need. Because I didn't see the finances. I didn't see this. But I just heard God's voice and I stepped out on faith. And everything been successful in Jesus' name. And so I just thank him Amen. for allowing me Amen. to run these businesses in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm so glad to hear about uh, both of your um, success and progress. And, of course, uh, I did want to touch on uh, domestic Violence Awareness Month before we got out of here today. But not without saying congratulations on your soon uh, coming book, Virtual Confessions, uh, your 40 Day you. Devotional, and Evangelist you. Andrea. Um, I am just excited about that. May God continue to bless you. I want to throw out to all of the entrepreneurs out there. This is a book. It's not an extremely new book, but it's not a very old book either that will help you to stay organized, stay on top of what you need to stay on top of. It's by an awesome sister named Cheryl Bouchard, and her book is called Sister CEO. 
If you have not checked out that book, I encourage you to. She guides you to forms. She guides you to organization. She guides you to how to have a business mindset. It's an easy-to-read book. It's a wonderful book. She's not giving me a commission to mention it. I just want to help my sisters out. It's called Sister CEO by Cheryl Broussard. Be sure to take a peek at that book. Now, on our final thought, um, I know we all know women who have been a part of a domestic violence situation. If it were not we ourselves, we do know someone, a relative or a friend. I want to know from your coaching experience, from your ministerial experience, give me a quick word that we can share with someone who may still be in a situation and don't know how to get out or not sure if they should get out, um, what they should do. Uh, just give them a word of encouragement and guidance on today. Uh, ever so briefly, I'm going to start with you, Lisa. Yes. Um, if if anyone out there is in a situation where they need help, they can always, first of all, you could always call 911. You could be discreet about it, or you could tell a friend. You know, you can tell a friend that you trust. You can come to a coach. You, you, but just tell someone, you know, that can help you. Don't sit in silence about it. Um, this is so important that this is mentioned, especially the COVID, especially while we're in COVID. I would mm-hmm. encourage anyone just to tell a sister, a brother, a mother, a friend, like I said, anybody that you can trust that you need help, and then we can take it from there. Awesome. Thank you so much. And now I'm talking to you, Andrea. Hey, man, I would tell anyone out there in that situation that God loves you. God has a great plan and purpose for your life. Sometimes we stay in that situation because we don't love ourselves or we uh, think we there's no help and there's no hope, but there's many programs out here to help you that you can call. Also, go to your pastor. Let him know what's going on as him being your headship and go to God and ask God to give you a way of escape. But they don't, there are lines out here that you can call, like Coach Lisa says, it's not 911, other helplines. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. And we had one young lady when we did a summit that she was in an abusive situation and she got out of that situation and now she's running her own businesses and about to do a clothing line so there's greatness in you there's hope for you get out now and trust god to take care of you in jesus name amen praise god i'm going to make a comment as i close but if there's a favorite scripture you have lisa what is it if you have a favorite scripture andrea what is it uh let's just throw out a word real quick you may not know where to find it but you know what that word is that's been blessing you so this time I'm going to start with you, Andrea. Just give them your favorite scripture, a scripture that can help somebody. Hey, Amen. My favorite scripture is the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Praise God. How about you, Lisa? You got one? Yes. I go I go to, oh, wow, you stumped me. I, I go to, you can go to the Lord for your strength. That that he will see you through everything, and he won't harm you if you can just go to him. Okay, so having said all of that, ladies, I'm about to shut it down for today, but it has truly been a blessing. We want to say to those of you all who are in a domestic violence situation, again, you can call 911 if there's a situation that erupts. But just to get some advocacy and to get some guidance and some direction, you can always call the domestic violence a violence hotline, a domestic violence hotline at 1-800-799-7233. That's 1-800-799-7233. And one of my favorite scriptures is found in Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 11, and that helps us to think before we speak. It says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Once again, I want to give a shout out to my wonderful producer, Miss Kimmy Kim, awesome woman of God, Mr. Jerry Royce, and to my wonderful guests on today, Coach Lisa and Evangelist Andrea Jackson. 
I want you to know that this podcast is to perpetuate a winning mindset, to adjust our perspectives, to strengthen our faith, to inspire us not just to talk about it, but to be about it, to do, and to stir up our passion. I'm Loretta Dupree, guys, and I'm hailing from the wonderful city of New Orleans. If you want to reach out to me, you can send an email to Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. That's Loretta Reviews at gmail.com. Hey, this has been Women Winning at Life from Ministry to Marketplace. Again, I'm Loretta, and I'm happy to report I'm winning at life. Till next time, bye-bye. May God bless.